Hello friends, welcome back to your UPSC. From today onwards, we are going to start with a new topic that is Geography of India. Human Geography we will continue later on because prelims are coming. So we need some time to revise Geography of India. So we will start with Indian Geography first. So the first topic of Indian Geography will be India and its space relation with neighboring countries. So let's get started. So India and its space relation with the neighboring countries. First, let us introduce India. Okay. So basic introduction of India. Area of India is about 2.4% of total land area of the world. Okay. That is 32,87,263 square kilometers. Okay. Now talking about latitudinal extent. So latitudinal extent of uh, India is from 8 degree 4 minutes to 37 degree 6 minutes north. Okay. And longitudinal extent is from 68 degree 7 minutes to 97 degree 25 minutes east. Okay. So it's basic latitudinal and longitudinal extent is about 30 degrees okay now away this was about mainland okay but away from the mainland of india the southernmost point of the country is in andaman and nicobar islands and the point is indira point okay okay So this Indra, Indra point is at 6 degree 45 minutes north latitude. Okay. So this is the southernmost point of India including its island. Okay. And this is southernmost point of mainland of India. Okay. Now from Kashmir to Kanyakumari if we calculate the extent it is 300 uh, 3214 kilometers while from east to west its width is from runoff cuts to Arunachal Pradesh it is 2933 okay so it is quite equidistant so its shape is okay so this is 2933 kilometers while this one is 3214 kilometers okay and the coastline length including the islands is 7516.6 kilometers okay okay now the population of this big country is 1.324 billion okay and the standard time meridian that is calculated is 82 degree and 30 minutes east okay so it is 82 and a half degree east. It passes through mid of India near Allahabad. And like if we draw this line, this 82, uh, 82 degree and 30 minutes line. So the states which crosses this line are UP, MP, Chhattisgarh, Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. Okay. So, so if we take a look at a map. Okay, this is Indra Kol, and here we have Kanyakumari. Okay, so this total distance is its length, and it is three thousand two hundred and fourteen kilometers. Okay, okay, so this is Indra Kol. This is Kanyakumari. Okay. And here in Great Nicobar, we have, if this is the mainland southernmost point, while here in Great Nicobar, we have the southernmost point. This is Indra point. Okay. Now, from east to west, 
this breadth is calculated as here till here okay so this breadth is 2933 kilometers and here we have run of kutch and here we have arunachal pradesh okay so this is its length and breadth now because of its area india stands seventh country seventh largest country in the world okay according to area while according to population it is second largest just after china okay but the positive point is that india is having youth population okay so if uh, taken into right direction youth population will help a lot in development of india okay so india is second largest in population and seventh largest country in the world according to area now here we can see tropic of cancer is passing through india okay dividing into it into two halves okay so because of this tropic of cancer it is passing through india we have tropical climate in india as well as we can see a bit of temperate climate and continental climate okay now the states from which tropic of cancer is passing we have gujarat then rajasthan then we have madhya pradesh then we have chatisgarh then jharkhand then west bengal then tripura and mizoram okay so these are the eight states from where tropic of cancer passes okay now looking into situation and spatial relationship with neighboring countries indian international boundaries are mostly natural and historically determined as we can see in north we have himalayas okay so himalayas they demarcate the line between china and some part of pakistan as well okay so these borders are naturally made and they are historically determined okay now if we look into the map we will see that india is situated on the western fringe of indian ocean okay and it lies in the midway between southeast asia and southwest asia it is bordered by pakistan in the west okay let us look at the map first so it is bordered by pakistan at the west okay then in northwest we have afghanistan okay then we have china here we have china then nepal in the north then we have bhutan so we have bhutan and in the north eastern side of we see we have bordered with bangladesh and myanmar okay so this is bangladesh and this is myanmar the southern borders okay these borders they are guarded by oceanic coastline okay so here we have arabian sea here we have bay of bengal and this is our indian ocean okay but if we look into our close neighbors across the sea we have sri lanka then we have maldives here okay so this is basic understanding about india and its neighbor now we will look into various border lines which passes through which border in uh, international borders which divides india and its neighboring countries okay so first we will look into length of borders with neighboring countries okay international borders so first we have bangladesh bangladesh it shares 
longest border with india so its international boundary its length is 4096.7 kilometers okay then we have china china its line is sorry this line is this border is 3488 kilometers the next international boundary is with pakistan which is 3323 kilometers okay then we have nepal with nepal we share 1751 kilometers border then myanmar here we have myanmar myanmar is 1643 kilometers then we have bhutan it is 699 kilometers and at last we have afghanistan afghanistan it shares 106 kilometers border with india and this area of jammu and kashmir is pok pak occupied kashmir okay so this area is shared with afghanistan now now we will look into important border lines of india with its neighboring countries so first border line is loc okay so here we have loc this is our loc okay it is controlled uh, it is formed in controlled part of former princely state of jammu and kashmir okay now this line is not an recognized international recog uh, internationally recognized line or internationally recognized border but it is a de facto border and it was originally known as seas of fire line okay but it was re designated as loc by 3 july 1972 following shimla agreement okay so it was formed in 3rd july 1972 okay now the indian part of uh, this area is known as jammu and kashmir while this pakistani part is known as azad jammu and kashmir and gilgit baluchistan baltistan okay and the northernmost part of loc is named as nj9842 okay so this is our loc now next cease fire line is with india and china this is known as lac line of actual control loc is line of control and lac is line of actual control it separates indian controlled state of jammu and kashmir from chinese closed area controlled area which is known as aksai chin okay so this is lac now this was a informal seas line this is a informal seas this was informal seas line between india and china but after 1962 conflict until 1993 okay but after 1993 conflict it exists existence was accepted okay its existence was accepted as lac in a bilateral agreement okay so this is loc this is lac now we have mcmohan line mcmohan line you can see here okay sorry mcmohan line is here mcmohan line is between india and china so this line is between tibetan region of china and northeastern region of india okay it was proposed by henry mcmohan and it was formed in 1914 during shimla convention okay then lastly we have red cliff line red cliff line is a boundary that is demarcation between india and pakistan okay this and this okay so this is red cliff line and it was formed after partition of india in 
it and it was it came into existence on 17th august 1947 okay now sir carol redcliff was the chairman of the border commission and on his name this redcliff line is formed okay now the another thing another border is park strait this park strait is between india and sri lanka okay so it is a narrow gap bridged between india and sri lanka this is known as park strait then we have one important part that is akno dagar so this area is a chicken like line or a very narrow passage between pakistan territory extending in indian territory okay so it is like somewhat like this okay so it is extending in indian state of jammu and kashmir okay so this is akno dagar now this is a very contagious topic because here by this narrow strip okay so by this narrow strip during war pakistan tries to insurgent uh, tries its insurgency in india okay so this is a chicken neck line that is aknu dagar then we have another chicken neck line here so this area is between this is known as chicken neck line and it is a narrow region of indian state so here we have west bengal and this narrow strait uh, strait narrow region it links the main land of india okay with the northeastern region of india okay so this is indian states and these are linked with northeastern indian states by this narrow strip this is and this narrow strip is known as chicken neck line okay so these were important borders which we share with the neighboring countries so that was all for today guys i hope you enjoyed today's topic so let's meet in our next class till then take care and have a nice day